Hi. <laughs> so today we are talking about the impossible. The impossible. So was this the first time uh, that you you seen it? You saw it? Saw it, seen that? This was the first time I had seen it, and also even heard of it. Okay. I uh, I I I don't know how I missed it, but yeah, never heard of it before. I knew about it um, for a while. So obviously, living in Thailand it was a pretty big deal in two thousand four, and there's been effects, you know, since then. Right. People, I'm sure. I know, I know a few kids who are orphaned by it and stuff like that. And uh, so I was, I've always been aware of it, but I had never had the chance to see it i like we never had a copy of it and just recently i was able yeah. to find one so i was like oh i want to watch this i want to talk about it and uh it's good but i i wasn't uh-huh. a big fan what do you think uh okay so i'll start by saying that i remember this happening in real life mm-hmm. i did not realize how long ago you know how long it's been and the whole time i'm thinking like where where was Alan when this happened? Like I know that like I don't remember hearing that you were directly like involved. So I you know I don't know how big Thailand is. I, don't, I was like, but I was like, why didn't I hear him talk about it more until the end of the movie when I realized it was two thousand four. Yeah, I was like sixteen. For some reason, I I was thinking like two thousand twelve. <laughs> I was probably hanging out at your house. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, I think the movie came out around then two thousand twelve ish. But there was also yeah, a, but it. F- there, well, there was another tsunami that hit Burma, which is I think pretty close to maybe, us. Was that about 2012? Um, what was the Burmese one? I want to say there was a big disaster that I was thinking this was, and I was wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. Keep talking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I knew it was a huge disaster, obviously, but. For some reason, I don't remember it being 14 years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, so the movie came out in 2012. Okay. Let's see. Tsunami. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, sorry. About sorry. how close... Like, okay, let's say it happened now. Mm-hmm. How close would that be to where you are currently? Would that, would you have, would, would you see water? Or no, how that no, work? no, no. We're, we're pretty far inland. Um, this was in Khao Lak, so I've actually been there. Okay. It, uh, so, it's like for an, comparison. It's like a two-hour yeah. flight to get there. At least, so it's an hour okay, flight to so, get to Bangkok and then another hour flight to get to Khao Lak. So would you say that like if this were to happen in California, mm-hmm. you would live the equivalent of like Colorado? No, no, not that far. Um, maybe maybe a state over Arizona. No, I mean it'd probably be like Bakersfield, I would imagine. Well, see, but that's a two-hour drive from like the closest beach. Yeah. Um, well, because Thailand is the size of Texas. Okay. It's a, it's about the same okay, so, land mass. So that makes sense. Maybe a state over. Maybe the other. Yeah, I'd say some, Arizona. Something like that. Um, I wouldn't like be a fifteen hour drive. I wouldn't be close enough to be affected at all. In Kalak, I don't think it's necessarily an island, but it's it's pretty much it's like kind of secluded to itself. Like you you have to take a right. plane to get there because it's. It, I don't think you can drive there. So I guess technically it is an island. But I don't remember exactly. I gotcha. Um, but yeah, no, I thought I thought it was a good movie. I thought it's well done. But I I thought it was a little heavy handed, um, in the sense that I know all the stuff that happened to this family happened to people during the time, but I felt uh-huh. like they were using the family as a device to show the tragedy, and they weren't using the tragedy to tell the story of the family. And I know it's based on a true story, which people complained about because the, the actual family is I think from Spain. And so Ewan McGregor is not anything, you know, he's not Spanish at all. And people were upset about it being whitewashed and stuff, but 
Of course. Um, yeah. They, uh, I know it was a true story, but they took a lot of liberties. And um, there's a lot of different things that they did that felt just for the sake of showing what happened during the tsunami, which is fine. But I felt like the story, the story of the family would have been better had it focused more on them and more on their survival versus splitting them up so much to show, oh, this is what it would be like if you were a kid. This is what it was like on the beach. This is what it is like at the, uh, yeah. you know, where they were staging all the dead bodies. This is what the hospital was like. This is, you know, you know what I mean? Like it was all, they all had moments in different aspects of this tragedy just to kind of show, oh, this is what happened. And it felt a little uh, contrived when they they did things to get to that point. Yeah, now, I don't know. Part of me... Now, okay, so I know this is a true story. Like, this family story is, is true, and it happened to them. Yeah. So that's fine. But, like, I don't know. A... a I don't know how to even explain this. Part of me felt almost upset that it was focusing on like a white family. Yeah. As weird as that sounds. Just because, and like, like I said, I know it is a true story. So I like, I get that this did happen to them. Yeah. I guess maybe had it not been, it would have felt, um, I don't know if the word is insulting, but it's like this happened to, you know, hundreds of thousands of people this affected but look how it affected these white people. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, so this Cowlock is a pretty big like resort type area, especially on the beach. I don't know how far the water would have uh, affected in inland, but having yeah. so many foreigners be affected makes a lot of sense because it was Christmas time and then the su- yeah. tsunami no, hit. So it was all these vacationers, you know, staying on the beach and, while obviously it would have affected a lot of Thai people, um, I think having so many foreigners involved makes sense. I, I do feel like they uh, didn't show a lot of ties in this other than right. once they got like, to the I, farm. I get that, like you said, this was, you know, this did obviously affect these people. But, like, it was it was just them, the immediate family. Their house wasn't destroyed. They didn't lose any friends and family. You know, like... Mm-hmm. It was it was contained to just them and their person, yeah. As opposed to all the people who did live there, and like they lost everything, and they lost friends, they lost family, they lost who knows, you know, like yeah. I don't know. It just was felt felt a little. I don't like I said. I don't even know how to really explain it. No, yeah. But I well, that, I don't know. It was that's kind of part of my frustration with it was their focus on the family and showing all the devastation around it felt very unlikely that they would all get through it the way they did which again i know it's a true story and the title the impossible is about the impossible odds they did to overcome but using the family as a um like a (laughs) conduit or like a a way to see this tragedy like looking through their eyes and you yeah. just see the devastation around them, like all the people who are like, oh, I lost my, my daughter and my wife, they died and I lost this and that. And like the uh, all the people who are suffering, y- you don't you have this weird balance of where you get kind of annoyed with the family because you're not. <clears throat> it's the happy story is, oh, they made it. But the story they're telling is look at all this tragedy. And so there's this yeah. conflicting thing that they're doing by using the family to show you the tragedy versus just tell, like focusing on their story and letting everything happen around them, but not use them as your like almost like a tour guide through it is what it felt like. They, you know, they're yeah. guiding you through showing you all the all the bad stuff, and then you're supposed to be happy that they made it together at the end. But there's no resolution it was for like, anyone uh, else. Being on the the jungle tour at Disneyland. Yeah. Or maybe even like, uh, there's like that one, I don't know what it's called. The tour at universal studios. I don't know if you've done that. The, the bus tour, the, the tram tour. Yeah. 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 And so they, had they not done that, had they not focused on, um, 
being a, a tour guide of tragedy and they only were focused on their story on their you know personal development and showing them scared when they do finally all get together you're gonna be like way more invested into their into them getting back together because you've yeah. you've gone on the journey with them and you like you're rooting for them hoping for them but I, I just felt like they were trying to do two different things. They were trying to tell a personal story and they were trying to tell an overall story. And an overall story doesn't really work this way. Like, it's just, I don't know. But why don't you go ahead and explain the premise? Okay, so the family, I couldn't even tell you their names. The oh, uh, Except for I think one is Simon. There's That's Simon, Lucas, Maria. Lucas. Uh, Henry, I believe, was Ewan McGregor. Mm. Man, Hen- right? Or I don't know. <laughs> uh, that sounds right. He, Ewan McGregor, I didn't really realize was Scottish, and I think he yes. he just used his normal voice in this, and I could not understand him like fifty percent of the time. I really had a hard time. Yeah, he was like speaking. He s- fortunately didn't have too many lines. Yeah, he was speaking. He was pretty limited. So quick. And just like mumble mouth that I was like, I have no idea what he's saying. But uh, Tom Holland was Lucas. I don't know if you noticed that. but Yes. And oh, yeah, for sure. I didn't realize how much of a movie it was of his. Like this felt like Tom Holland's movie. Like Ewan McGregor's in oh, it. Oh, yeah. No, it absolutely was. Yeah. And Naomi Watts is in it and stuff. But this felt very much yeah. like Tom Holland's, you know, vehicle. Like, it, he did an uh, yeah. outstanding job. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, so basically, this family is on vacation in Thailand. They are at a resort. It is Christmas time. And they are all outside at the pool when the tsunami hits. And they are all just kind of washed away. They end up all somewhat getting separated. Um, Tom Holland and his mom are the closest together. So we see their struggle of getting, trying to get to each other. That was. That was so hard to watch. Yeah, that, the, I thought they did that well. All the the underwater like chaos. Yeah, because I guess that's that's when when I think of tsunami, right, or like big tidal waves, you think of water washing over you. Yeah, but it's it's so much more than that because it's all the debris and all it's like everything. It's it's not just the water that you are trying to dodge. It's 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 all the stuff that's in the water plus all the stuff that the water is pushing you into yeah it's 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 a it's a whole thing it's insane it is a i thought they thing. did that it's a it's a whole thing i thought they did that really well uh showing that that struggle and 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 then again on top of that this is like not clear water you know you're not gonna be able to see anything it's yeah. it's almost mud at that point yeah i wonder uh how they filmed that because there's the one scene where naomi watts is hanging on to the pole and all the water is rushing around her and uh-huh. they like zoom out and it looks practical. I mean, it could be. Yeah, a lot of it did look practical. It could be um, like she was in water and they green screened and CGI'd all the stuff around her. But it was like super impressive. The technical aspect of it, the the practicality that they used to get that shot of having her holding onto a pole and just having water flow <sighs> around her. Like it just seemed right. it just added a layer of like. Oh no! Yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, because there was she. She was getting shanked. She was getting stabbed yeah. by metal objects and whatnot. Um, plus, you got to think too. It's like at, at with that much water, cars being able to float away. Now you're dodging vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. It, do- uh, it's, it doesn't. It's, it's crazy. It doesn't take that much water to move a car. It will no, and once it's it's up, it's 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 like uh, like a missile. I don't know. It's a it's a boulder. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's it. Uh, th- so th- that much water is devastating. Like it would destroy. I, I think it would even do more damage than they showed in the movie. Like it seemed almost not tame, but like, oh, I think this would there'd be a lot more chaos going on. Yeah, but, I'm sure. But I guess. <laughs> I'm basing that on what the beach looked like after and all the debris would get 
flushed away towards the end of where the water's at. So maybe it, maybe it is. I don't know. But go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, so Tom Holland and his mom, Naomi Watts, are somewhat close together. So you see their struggle mm-hmm. trying to get to each other. And one person will get somewhere somewhat safe and the other person won't. So it's they go back and forth until they're both able to stop uh, – it was a pole, right? That they or a fallen tree. A fallen tree, yeah. That they're able to both kind of grab onto. Um, so then they're able to hang on there until everything kind of settles down a little bit, yeah. and they're able to somewhat get their bearings. They're afraid; they don't know if another one's coming or what, so they want to find a a high spot. Yeah, they I come across another little boy. I I Go ahead. I was struggling with this part because. Uh, they climb a tree, right? After, after they uh-huh. get the boy, they climb the tree, um, and like the mom struggles to get up it because her leg is all cut. And that that uh, that uh, makeup they use, the effects they use on that was disturbing. Yeah, like it looked. Oh, it was horrific. I yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, <clears throat> she had. Oh, that was a, awful. A giant it was a big hole. Yeah, a giant chunk of her leg was just. Uh, cut gone. open, yeah. Just hanging out, and uh, she, she took a beating. Yeah, they beat her up. Like she took the most damage out of everyone, and I mean that's part of the story. Oh, I I but, was confident that she was gonna die. Who are you? I knew I knew going in, everyone survived. So I was like, that kind of uh, okay. deflated a little bit of the tension for me. But uh, yeah, but so. My issue was See, yeah, I didn't know any of that. They were concerned that there was going to be another wave, but that tree that they climbed did not seem like it was one high enough for it to be justified, and two, just keep walking inland. The water can't go yeah. forever; it's going to disperse eventually. So, like as far as you've gotten now, if there is another one, it's not really going to be that devastating. It's not like you're going to be in twenty feet of water again. You know, you might get up to your knee or something like that, but it'd be a lot more, um, you, you'd have a lot more ability to handle it if your focus was, we just, we just keep moving inland. We keep moving inland. Yeah. We'll get away from the water. We'll pass the destruction and we will find people because that tsunami is not going to disrupt anything that it doesn't touch. You know, like... Right. The if you get to a village, you get to a town, you get to a shop, whatever. If the water hadn't reached that far, there's a good chance you're gonna find people. And uh, so I, I was like, oh, I don't know if this makes sense. Like, if this is the right choice that you should make of trying to climb a tree and just wait until someone finds you. In the movie, it does work out. Some farmers show up and pull them. And you know, all that dragging scene. Oh, that was awful that was too. Terrible. Scene. Why? It's okay. Why couldn't they just pick her up? There oh wasn't enough gosh, people. That was there. I mean, that, or that guy was turn old. her over so the big hole in the back of her leg is not <laughs> dragging and catching yeah. on everything. I'm like, look, flip me over and let me damage like the front part of my body where I'm not open. Yeah, I don't know. She, I think that she was, was just so weak. That was. Th- or hey, pull me by my leg, so at least my leg is off the ground. <laughs> That's a better idea. Jeez, that was. Yeah, so she. Oh, that I I thought for sure she if she survived she was at minimum gonna lose that leg. Yeah, I don't know if she did. I mean, because they never really settled that, did they? Yeah, I guess they don't. Say. If she, healed but they up. didn't really make it seem like that was a, a concern. Like that was not her life threatening injury. Yeah, it was all the infection, all the she stuff had, like, that got in her blood. The, the, the effect and the da- she had damage to her chest, yeah, and just all, um, oof, man. yeah. So they're in the tree. They get found, um, but before that, you were saying that they they heard a little boy crying, and Tom Holland, who right. at the time was like ten, or the character he was playing was ten. He was probably like yes. fourteen. I uh, I don't know. You think he's twenty eight now? Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Cancel all that. Yeah. This movie did not come out in 2004. Because <laughs> he's probably, what, 20 now, I would imagine? Right around yeah. there? Okay, so that, yeah. So that, if this came out six years ago? Yeah, so six he's probably ago. about 14-ish. But anyway, so yeah. Naomi Watts is like, there's a little boy, we got to help him. And Tom Holland's like, 
no. Uh, we can't help them. We, you are going to die. If water comes, we're both going to die. We can't do anything. And she's like, what if yeah. it was your brother? What if it was one of your brothers? And Tom Holland has this really powerful moment. He's like, they're dead. Like he's just yelling at her. They're dead. It, it doesn't matter. We need to survive. And she's like, no, we need yeah. to help this little boy. They end up saving him, and he goes with them. And uh, when the farmers find them, Daniel. yeah, Daniel, when the farmers find them, they drag them back to their village, and they try to help them all out and get uh, her to the hospital. But they accidentally yeah. leave Daniel behind, which was that kid, man, has a rough life. You get washed away, end up with a family who looks like you, and then get left behind in a Thai village that you no idea how to speak the language. Right. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, pick it up from but there. Let's be honest. Tom Holland was not, like, that upset about it. Like, he was still felt some resentment for having to go find that kid. Because they, they get in the back of the truck. It's like, where's Daniel? Where's Daniel? And he's like, I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> yeah I, I mean i don't think he was like happy that they left him but i don't think he was like no i know it was just funny he's just concerned for he's his like, mom ah, he's like we're not we're not gonna look for him anymore like we helped him get to safety now we we you have to get to the hospital or else yeah okay so they get her to the hospital it's a real rough makeshift uh type thing obviously there's thousands of people who are injured i mean that's at, at various degrees that's pretty accurate to the hospitals here it's not not quite so dirty and not quite so full but that's uh, yeah that's like a decent hospital at least before everything started happening oh okay i, I believe that. i mean there's like really um, nice ones in bangkok and stuff like that but like in the smaller villages the that hospital is pretty average I so would that's say. standard yeah okay yeah so they're there. They're being treated. They're being taken care of, uh, you know, the best that they can. Um, the mom is obviously getting worse. Her leg is pretty bad. She keeps asking Tom Holland what color it is because as long as it's red, it's fine. Yeah. But as if it turns black, it's gone. Um, they – okay, so, the, so then – so this is this was the trippy part, right? This was one of the <laughs> assuming that I know what you're about to say. This is one of the first things where I was like, "Nope, this is a dumb idea. You made a terrible choice." But go ahead. Uh, okay, so there was uh, they cut sit next or laid up next to this other. Oh uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, I was wrong. No, no, we're not on the same page. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so Naomi Watts is trying to talk to this lady because she. She is at least white, so maybe they speak the same language. Mm -hmm. And the lady seems to be kind of ignoring her or just not really in the moment. I thought she was just dead. Yeah, I thought she was uh, but anyways, I thought she was in shock. Yeah. So she she's trying to talk to her and then the lady starts like coughing up blood. Oh. And uh the, Naomi Watts is trying to get Tom Holland to help her by turning her head Turn her so she side, doesn't yeah. choke on it but then naomi watts starts choking on the same stuff and like is it blood coming out or was it just like mud we couldn't figure that out it, um she pulled out a lot of stuff from her what throat what was that i don't know if she swallowed something while she was going through everything or if it, it just getting it looked so like beat up. They, it was part of her like esophagus or her lung or just stuff coming out of it her. It looked like an uh, like when you're unclogging a shower drain. Yeah. It was like stringy but dark. It was Yeah. It was upsetting. It was really nasty. Ah. Uh, and no one so helped her. She had gross. to pull it out herself. Even the nurse was standing. Right I liked there. how everyone everyone was like looking around, like ew, yeah, gross, lady. Yeah, yeah, that was upsetting. So that was weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay, why don't you talk about the what you thought I was gonna say? Yeah. So after that, uh, Tom Holland's sitting with her, <laughs> and she goes, "Lucas, go help people. That's what you're good at. Go help them. Go see what you can do." 
you know, I'm not going anywhere. Go help him. And I was like, this is the dumbest idea ever. If even when there's not a tragedy, there's a good chance you're going to get moved. And there's an even better chance that people are not going to know where you're at. Like when he shows up, doesn't speak Thai. And he's like, where's my mom? Where's my mom? They'd be like, I don't know. Like she, she's not here anymore. (laughs) Go ask someone else. Yeah. Like that's kind of the, not, not the overall attitude, but if the, if the, if the person doesn't speak the same language, they're just like, I don't know how to help you. I'm sorry. Like you're going to have to figure it out on your own. So even without a tragedy, there's a good chance the there's going to be a lot of miscommunication and people are going to get moved around and it could be difficult to find someone. But in a tragedy, when there is so many people, there's like, as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, she's going to get moved and he's not going to be able to find her. That's, that's all that's going to happen next. And that's, that's what happened. He, he ends up helping a couple of people get connected with their so he finds a dad and finds the dad's son who was missing. They get connected because they're both in the hospital at different parts. And he gets real excited and runs back and then his mom is gone. And he assumes that she died because no one can help him. And they're like... Well, because the the one lady there who is speaking English is being real cryptic. Like, oh, you need to come with me. And takes him to a tent where there's all a bunch of kids by themselves. So, but I believe that they did think his mom died, right? Like, they thought it was someone else, so... Yeah, so he goes to, like, this this tent for kids, almost like a... Um, orphan tent. An orphan tent, but like a, a daycare <laughs> setup type thing, yeah. where they have toys and books and all this different stuff. And he's hanging out in there. And then they bring him a watch and a ring, and they're like, does this look familiar to you? And he's like, no, I, I don't recognize this. And they're like, oh, really? You don't? And they're like, well, come with us. And then they find his mom. And it's just, I don't know. It it, it was just kind of well, mean. Well, to add, to add to the confusion, there was a, like a, a folder with a bunch of pictures of dead people yeah. that he kind of started looking through and... Right before they they came back, he looked and stumbled upon someone who, you know, at if you're only going to see it for half a second, did kind of look like his mom. So that added to the whole, yeah, she's dead. Yeah, and what well, they also got the the files mixed up too. I think the folder that was on his mom's bed got connected with the woman whose watch and ring it was. So I think they did think, oh, she must be dead. Then when they realized, oh, she's not dead, it's the other one, they're like, okay, you can go see your mom now. Yeah. Um, Are you clipping your fingernails? (laughs) No. I just hear clip, clip, clip. Oh, I'm playing with a lock. (laughs) Of course you are. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So, whatever. But yeah, so he, he finds his mom... And she's not doing good. She's like really struggling. She's super pale. She is half dead already. Yeah, at this point. I'd probably even more than half. Uh, she's like, just she is barely, 60% <laughs> just barely hanging on. And uh, so he's. They tell they. T- go ahead. I was just gonna say he's hanging out with her, and then this is when they switch over to you McGregor's storyline, right? Well, so what what they tell him is she had surgery on her chest. Her chest. But she But uh, her leg is getting bad, but she's lost too much blood. She's too weak to have another surgery. Yeah. So they can't do anything about the leg until she starts getting better, which seems impossible at this. Seems the it impossible. Seems the impossible. Point. And then yeah, so then we switch over to you and McGregor. And I expected them to go back in time and show from his side yeah right? but i was talking with my wife about it and i realized like you know what it's probably because those kids were just too young you couldn't do what they did to Na- naomi watts and tom holland where they throw them around all the water and all that stuff and uh right but but he didn't see any of that anyways 
So they still could have, because he said that once it settled down, he found each one was up in a tree and one was holding on to like another tree or something like that. Except when he jumped into the swimming pool, which so Tom Holland dove underwater, Hugh McGregor dove into the water, but he was holding the other two boys. Yeah. And so it would have been really hard yeah. to um, show, you know, what happened with. Well, they could have just showed him get kind of ripped away immediately, yeah. you know. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it was fine. Yeah, no, it was fine. The what they did was they cut back to him and he's on the beach screaming for Lucas and screaming for his wife Maria. And I think they did that to try to kind of trick you that he lost the other two boys too. But yeah. when I saw it and he was only calling the two, I was like, oh, he's he's got the other kids somewhere else. He found safety and he's hidden them away and he's out looking for Lucas and Maria, which is what <laughs> ended up happening. He, they like had him on top of the hotel resort with a couple other families. Yeah, he'd already kind of made some friends or you know, whatever. Yeah. And were helping him out. That, that made some sense. You know, to be like, hey, yeah. watch my kids, please. Like, I have to go look for my wife. Like, don't let them go anywhere. Just keep them safe. I get that. I was, yeah. While, like, that that seemed like a hard choice for me. Um, for sure. You know, as a as a father, it'd be that'd be tough to go through everything to, you know, save your, to find your kids after you think they're dead and all this stuff and surviving everything. To be like, can you watch my kids? I have to keep looking for my wife. That would be difficult. But when they continue on and the truck shows up to go to the mountains for safety and he's like, all right, boys, you're going to go to the mountains. You seven-year-old take care of your five-year-old brother. I got to keep looking for your mom and brother. I was like, no, this is dumb. Yeah. This is. I was like, no, because I'm sorry, but uh, the mountains is the most Vegas location. Exactly. Vegas location. <laughs> What is, is there only one mountain in Thailand? It's like, oh, they took him to the mountains? Yeah, it's that mountain yeah. right there. Yeah. That is like, oh, okay, well, not, you're never going to see those kids. Not again. only that, but there's all the confusion and all the chaos going on, and you don't speak the language. You're going to find a car and be like, exactly. take me to the mountain. <sighs> They're like, what? Where? Where in the mountain? I don't know, the mountain, where my kids are. Yeah. Like, who... Who's supposed to know where your kids you know, are? Where they take the, where they take the kids? <laughs> yeah, the the mountain kids area. Like, you there's no chance that that's a good idea. Like you 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 have such a small percent. You you're more likely to find your wife and other son than you would be to find your kids in a mountain, like just some random mountain. Yeah, that you, then you would have to live with the fact that hey, I lost my other kids. I had them. Had them. They're alive. And I lost them. So not only that, they are somewhere else. They are not only would it be hard to find them again, and not to take this too dark, but yeah. there are predators, predatory people, predators, who will uh -huh. take advantage of situations, you know, tragedies like this. Any opportunity yeah. that mm -hmm. you're sending your kids off with, you don't even know who, you don't know their names, you don't know where they're from, you have no way of getting in contact with them, and. They could just be gone forever. And I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. This is so stupid. Like, it could have easily been one dude who is the predator, gets it. He's like, you know what? Get this bus, driving to town. Be like, hey, taking the kids to the mountains, load them up. Yeah. It, it, I was just so angry at you, <laughs> McGregor, and then the movie for acting like that was the, yeah. like, that was that the hard was okay. choice. Like, that was a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, no, that's not a choice at all. Like, like I, I told my wife, I was like, if this happened to us, I'm sorry, but I can't, I'm not going to send my kids off to keep looking for you. And I hope you wouldn't do the same for me. Like, no. you protect so the ones you that you have he, and figure yeah. it out from there. Because yeah, exactly. it, even in the movie, the storyline of the movie, it did nothing to help. There was no benefit no. from him doing that. Yes, because what what would happen if you then came across and you found out that your other son and your wife was dead, but now you have other kids that you have no idea where they yeah, are. Yeah, and then it was all for nothing. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say so, all for nothing, right? But like, well, you could, okay, it if 
if they were uh, alive, they're not really going to be on the beach anymore. Like it, the likelihood of right. finding them trapped under something seems really low. The likelihood of you having yeah. the ability to help them from being trapped seems even worse. And so like, you could keep your kids with you and go search the hospitals. Like that's something you could actively do mm-hmm. with your kids and, you know, stay yeah, together. They, they might slow you down a little bit, but I mean, the, more than likely the danger is past. Yeah. Right? They're okay to stay with you. I don't know. Yeah. That was a question. Yeah, it was a really bad choice, but so that's what he does. He sends them off to the mountains. He asks this couple like, Hey, can you, you know, keep my kids safe and the older brother the seven-year-old's like i've never watched anyone i can't watch them and the dad's like i need you to do this and i was just like oh the seven is too young maybe maybe 13 right you have a 13 year old and you're like you have to do this you have to you know be an adult right now and take care of your siblings and i will find you you know like we, we will get this worked out but seven is just yeah. is not is not ready for that. Okay, so okay, Harper is how old? four, and how old is Dakota? Two. Why did I think Harper was older? Kai's eight, but there's a not. Huh. Well, because I I'm trying to imagine Braden. Mm-hmm. Right. He's he's gonna be seven in a month. And his brothers are four. Yeah. Oh, there was no way. There's no way I would send him with just one, yeah, yeah. right? That's not that I. It's just it's. They're just not ready for it. Like I, no, I mean there's, I don't think he would do anything like careless, like just leave them, right? But that's. Uh, they're they're too easily manipulated yeah. by anybody mm-hmm. at that age. Yeah, you you send them off, and then someone's like, "Hey, you got to come over here," and they're like. All right, I guess we got to go over there. You know, like it's they're so scared and oh, yeah. unsure of what to do, and you got to hope that the people who are directing them have good intentions for them, and that's not not worth the risk. Yeah. You know, like it's just I don't know, man. It was and sadly that goes for any any country that you're in. There's going to be those. People. Oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's not like a Thailand specific thing, safe. but it, it's. No, that would happen here. But yeah, no, it, was, it does happen here. It's really, it was upsetting. It just it was so dumb. So so, so dumb yeah. of a choice. Well, okay. So at that point, he's. Uh, uh, this is where I probably get a little mixed up. Mm. Uh, he's searching for them. He's checking the hospital. Like yeah, so he hooks names. up. I guess they have. He hook- Is it like posted? Uh yeah. Yeah, they have like a list right. of names on, on all the hospitals of patients. But he hooks up with a guy who's got the busted knee who lost his wife and daughter. And they're getting around. And uh, he is going from hospital to hospital looking for his family and looking for the guy with the busted knee's family. Then he sees the woman that he left the kids with. Ugh, that, and that drove me he nuts. was like, Where's my kids? He can. Conf- and she's like, "Sorry, say, hey." And she's like, "They're taking them." So like, I don't know. They- <laughs> and then you just see him drive like, off on like, and that's it. You just see him drive off in a big bus, and he's just like, "I don't know what to do now." And I was like, "Yeah, that's why you don't let that happen." It's one thing if you get separated in a tsunami and your kids are gone and they get taken like that. That's that's a yeah. good thing in that circumstance. But when you have your kids with you and you send them off like that, that is a very bad thing. Like it's, you're making everything so much more complicated and so much more dangerous. Like yep. you have to, you have to take the wins that you have. You can't give those up to try to, you know, get everything back. It's, and like, I'm not saying don't yeah, ever do anything bonkers. or don't try or don't, but you have to realize like, I have to, I can only do what I can do with them, not send them off somewhere else. Okay, so so here's a question. Let's say you are this other couple that he's with, right? Mm-hmm. 
you're in this, let's say you are not, you know, currently living in Thailand or you're in a country where you don't speak the language. This happens and this guy asks you to watch over his two kids and you agree. Yeah. Now he's gone and then people come who speak different language and they start rounding up the kids. How, how big of a fight are you putting up for these kids? Um, I, I don't It's tough, right? It depends on who's trying to take them, right? If it's the government... It's a, but that's the thing you don't know, right? Because there's no clear anything. It's it's all chaos. Yeah. So the thing is, if the kids get back to their own embassy, that is their best chance of getting back. If say they are orphaned, right? Their parents aren't there. Right. You want them to get connected back with their own embassy, so they can you know find their family, find their connections, and get them to the right people. If you are an American and you're with, you know, a French family or a British family and you are looking for your family and the government's trying to take them to their embassy, it's like, well, I told them that I would watch them, but they're going to the, the proper place to get taken care of. So if I keep watching them, I'm making their life even harder and making it even harder for them but to did- be found. But I but did anyone know that these kids were taken to an embassy? Did they say no, that? No, I'm saying that that would be their best bet of getting back home is getting to their own embassy. But right, I know. But this couple, right? They're rounding up kids. They don't know. That's what. I, that's what I'm. Tr- what anyone's intention? <laughs> that's are. what I'm trying to get to. If I was given uh, responsibility to watch them, I'd have a really hard time giving them over to someone else because I was asked to. But the the difficult part is I could be making it even more difficult for them to be found later by holding on to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for me personally, I think I would try to keep them or try to get them back to where they belong as best as possible. But I understand why the other family would be more willing to let them go because the government steps in and is like, hey, we're we're going to get them back to where they belong. You're like, all right. I mean, you have more connections, more money, more power, more people. That makes sense. <laughs> but it's just tough. You know? Yeah. I don't know. That's, it just didn't seem like they put up any kind of fight. They're like, oh, okay, please take them off. Yeah, hands. yeah. I mean, the woman was like, but I don't know. Maybe they did. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, they didn't really show it. Right. Like they just showed, him bump into her and he's like where's my kids and she's like sorry they took her and then you see him drive off yeah it's like sorry like my bad but uh i don't know what to tell you from there it goes to um they all end up at the same hospital and uh i thought this was kind of goofy like this felt so forced where people were like walking past each other down hallways and one person's going downstairs where the other person's going upstairs and everyone's just missing each other, just missing each other. And I was like, okay, like we get it. You're trying to evoke emotion of like, Oh, it's so close. It's so close. And it's not happening. That felt, that took me out of the movie root, like so hard. Cause I was like, this is dumb. Like, why, why are you doing this? Just, just get to it already. Every like we know what's going to happen. And at the, yeah, at that point, we know they're all going to get back. To yeah. Her. And even even if they don't in that moment, the danger is kind of gone. You know, obviously, we're talking about, yeah. you know, human trafficking, kidnapping, all that stuff. And that's that is real. <laughs> but I don't have any anticipation of the movie going in that direction. So seeing it. No, because they didn't they didn't hint at that even in the slice, no. like that was even yeah. a possibility. So even though that there's you know, there is real danger, but in the 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 world of the movie or what's happening in the movie you're like oh everyone is alive they don't know where each other are right now and they're not exactly sure if everyone's alive but they're going to find each other soon if not now so it's like you all this like teasing of oh almost oh almost was like unnecessary but lucas tom holland sees you and mcgregor's pants he like recognized him by his pants his his swimsuit yeah And so he, he runs down after him and is looking. And then the two little boys are getting back in the bus because they jumped off to pee in the bushes. And then they're getting back on and they see Lucas. And then they're like, 
Lucas, Lucas, and they start sprinting after him, just screaming. And I thought those boys did a great job too. Like all three of the kids oh, for sure. were like, yeah, they their emoting or their how expressive they were with everything was like, yeah, like yeah, I believe that you guys went through what you went or what you're supposed to have gone through. Um, so they bump yeah. into him and he's hugging them, and then Hugh McGregor walks in from out of the crowd, and it's just like, yeah, this this is not really how this would work. Like you wouldn't, everything wouldn't line up so perfectly to everyone run into each other at once, but that's what happens. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. And so Lucas takes them real quick. Go ahead. But I, I, I want to, so, okay. I, I read a, a tad bit of trivia on mm. this. And from, from what I read, the family that this was based on was on set for most of the shooting. Yeah. And you know was pretty much saying like yeah this is how this happened this and that do you, do you think there's ever a, and it doesn't not even necessarily this movie but you could use this one as an example where this family who made these decisions is present and then you have guys like you and McGregor and they're doing these scenes like where he lets his kids go off to the mountains or whatever do you think he's ever like you did this <laughs> you, oh, oh, okay okay he's like I mean I, I ain't gonna say anything but. But wow. Yeah. No, I don't know. I doubt it. And like, <laughs> I don't think you and McGregor would do something I, like that. But uh No, 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 I feel not, like, not not out loud. I'm just do you think he thinks anyone thinks like, why would you do that? Maybe. I think like, I, it, it's one thing for us to talk about like a bad decision, but to be like face to face with the guy who made the bad decision, yeah. I don't know. It feels I feel like on a movie almost. set, it's more likely that the family would be frustrated with how they were be, being portrayed then the actors feeling like oh you're a dumb person for doing this thing like you know what i'm saying like i feel like the the family would be like ah oh, that's not really what happened like i mean i maybe the dad did send his kids off to the mountain in real life i don't know if he did that was a dumb choice well but yeah An- i another thing said that they said that Pretty much everything that happens, everything that happens in the movie is what happened in real life. Yeah, but I doubt it happened the way it happened in the movie. Like, I think all the devastation Probably. and all the, all the major events and all that stuff, I think is accurate. But I don't think the the story wise is quite the same. But I don't know. I I don't know the true story well enough to compare. So I, maybe I'm wrong. It just I don't know. It's tough. But uh, so Lucas takes the dad and the two brothers to see the mom. The mom's like, I, I was talking to my wife because my wife watched it with me. And I was like, you would have to think you were dead if you're going through all this and you're like suffering. And then you see your husband and your two kids and they're like so excited and so happy. Your first thought would be uh-huh. that I'm dead. And then as soon as I said that, Naomi Watts was like, am I dead? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, that, that adds up. That's what you would think. But 100%. she uh, she tells him, she's like, I can finally rest now. You can take care of the boys. I'm I'm dying. I, I can't do this anymore. So she like gave up. And he's like, that's yeah. not what I found you for. That's not what I've been looking, you know. Yeah. And I thought that was a, a strong moment between the two of them because it all makes sense, you know. Like it was all very authentic. And uh, she goes into surgery and they fix her all up, and then they send them off. I think to Singapore uh, for more surgery and stuff like that, and get more yes. care. Um, but yeah, that's the end. It's kind of bookended by two airplane flights, which I thought was weird uh, because the airplane didn't seem really that important or vital to the story. So it was just kind of like, all right, you know, to airplanes, whatever. Um, it's it was weird so like they do okay so like at first right when they're on the plane on the way there and there's like the turbulence and it's like whoa and it's like oh don't worry it's just turbulence as if like we you they're gonna we know this plane doesn't crash because that's not what this is this is not that kind Mm -hmm. of disaster right and then at the end when they're back on the plane as it would it would make more sense as if there was a plane crash and now we survived and we're going back home, but we have to get on a plane again. Oh man, there's this loud noise. Oh, this plane's crashing again. Oh no, it's just them locking the yeah, door. Yeah. But this wasn't a plane crash movie, so that just felt yeah. weird. Yeah, it seemed kind of out of place. <sighs> like 
there was like a like I, there was never a time where I thought, oh, here we go again. Yeah, yeah it, it seemed like that. That's how they wanted it. Like it was. Here's the beginning of the trip. Here's the end of their trip. The plane is symbolic of the beginning and the end. But which which is fine. Yeah, just leave out the the scare yeah. moments or whatever. Yeah, it did. It felt it felt goofy. But <laughs> overall, the impossible. What did you think? Uh, overall, I liked it. I thought, uh, I thought the the action sequences were great. I thought the acting was good. Um, out of from a negative five to a five, mm-hmm. uh, I'd probably give it like a negative. Or, <laughs> I'd probably give it a three. A three. Yeah, I'd give it a two. I think. Yeah. Um, I was just so frustrated by the choices and the the conflicting storytelling that they were doing that I like had a hard time really getting into it. I think the true story of the family is super (laughs) impressive and that people, you know, is the, the story of the tsunami is, you know, heartbreaking, but I just felt like as a film, as a movie that this was not, it didn't have a clear enough idea of what it wanted to do. And, uh, that was kind of frustrating, but yeah. But yeah. So, I we we haven't decided what we're watching next, but I wanted to see what you think of watching Sin City. Okay, I haven't seen yeah. that. I think that'll be a good one. So next week, that, uh, what's that? Yeah, next week we'll do. No, that's fine. <laughs> we'll do Sin City. Uh, if you go ahead, if you're listening on the podcast, or you're watching this on YouTube, on Patreon, you can go and listen to that or watch it now. Or I won't, the video won't be up now, but you can go listen to it on Patreon now. Uh, for a dollar, you get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance, and you can help decide who has to pay a punishment between Taylor and I. Um, if you're on Twitch, we'll be back next week with uh, Sin City. Woo-woo. And uh, yeah, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, oh, I thought that was subscribe to us on YouTube. My bad. I kind of, I I like had this weird stutter in the middle where my brain kind of stopped, but that's the end. Finito. Fiend. <laughs>